Hey guys, welcome to Can Pump Tutorials. Today we are going to put together the solenoid valve for misting kits. As you see, we have the pump and filter beside me. This solenoid valve is gonna go in between those and control the water coming into the pump. One thing you will need is a length of wire for a standard 110 volt plug that we will wire in today. First things first, we are going to take the screw out of the cap here to expose the wiring. Now that that is unscrewed, we can simply pull this apart. And as you can see here, there are the three prongs. These are like a standard plug. You will plug those back in when we're done wiring. For now, we will just disassemble. Make sure you keep everything in an order that you can remember. And we have here the inside of the cover. We will take this cover and any tool you can just to get into that hole and pry it out. Don't worry about damaging it, it comes out fairly smoothly. As you can see here, we have the three spots for our wires. These will be marked with a line one, a line two, and the symbol for ground. Everything should be standard. The wires for line one and two, positive and negative, don't matter which order you put them in, as long as ground is where the ground symbol is. So for now, we will take our cap, we will remove the grommet, and this will expose a washer and an o-ring that we will put onto our wire before we start assembling. Simply use a tool to get those out. As you can see here, metal washer and an o-ring. First, you will take your grommet that we took off the cover earlier. You will slip it back on, followed by the washer, and then followed by that rubber ring we got out of, out of the cover. Then you will slip the cover over the wires and pull them through like so. Now we will begin wiring the switch. As you can see here from earlier, we have line two, one, and ground. The black and red wires will go to either one or two. Those can be switched, as long as the white wire goes to the ground symbol. We'll just make sure that the wires are properly twisted and there are no stray wires hanging out. We will use a Phillips screwdriver to loosen off all of these three screws, exposing the small circular hole. This is where the wires are gonna be inserted. We will begin with the red wire, which I am placing into line one. Once the wire is inserted, you will tighten the set screw to secure the wire in place. Now that it is secure, we will do the same for the white and the black one. Again, the white one going to the hole marked with the ground symbol. Now that it's all wired in, we will pull the wires back through and start to secure the bracket back into the cover. If you're wondering which orientation you should put the cover in, just take a look back at the prongs. The flat one is here, and so we want the cover, the bottom of the cover to either face up or sideways as not to block the port. So I always put the flat one to the top or with the, with the opening of the cover, and you just slide it back into place and it should sit securely. Now we will take our rubber cover from earlier, place it back over, so now that the cover can't fall out. Now we will take that and slide it back over the prongs. And we will take our rubber ring and slide that back into the top hole. Followed by the metal washer and the grommet from earlier and we will just Screw this back on. Last 
step is just to screw in the set screw from earlier. Thanks for watching our camp pump tutorial on solenoid valve assembly. Please visit our misting system to see how to use it.